Well, hello everyone. This is Rose Roseanne Kulik, and um, my business is called The Perfect Rose. And when I woke up this morning, I had this really strong urge that I had to say something because I have a favorite, um, some favorite podcasters that are interviewing very very spiritual people, talking about different things, and. Um, as someone that has committed my whole life to understanding high metaphysical principles, I just couldn't sit there and allow that much energy to be perpetuating out into the future when so many of us have been working collectively to bring more light on the planet for years now, actually. And right now we're getting bombarded with a, 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 a lot of solar flares, which could be bringing up some energy for each and every one of you, which might make you a little bit more tired. Some of you might be having more, much more energy. Some of you might actually be having like, um, uh, like ringing in your ears because um, everyone's going to be waking up a little bit more to, to, to who they are as spiritual beings. But for that to happen... Some of the denser energies that might be in your physical body or in your org field are going to have to come up to the surface to clear them. And right now we are coming into the holiday season. And one of the biggest things that I was have been wanting, I wanted to share it last year and I just never had the courage. So this year I have to do it is, first of all, in a lot of cases, when we're going through these energetic shifts and and during usually holiday seasons and things like that, there is the potential that some people... Uh, some of your loved ones could potentially decide to leave the planet. And I'm not trying to necessarily tell you that to upset you or hurt your feelings or make you concerned or have you project that energy out there. I'm telling you that because sometimes when we're so wrapped up in doing some healing work on ourselves, it's really hard for us to hear that intuitive nudge. So I wanted to do just a little bit of a brief healing for each and every one of you because it sure is easier to, to do what you would want to do in the physical instead of waiting for someone to leave this planet for to make amends. So I'm just going to ask your higher self to be with you, to give you the appropriate love and light for you at this time. And when you're breathing in, you're going to be breathing your higher self, God, whatever, the Holy Spirit, whatever you want, what, you know, Allah, it doesn't matter. I just want the highest part of you to be in charge. And I work very closely with all different beings of light and archangels, ascended masters, other uh, beings that have taken such an interest in working with us here on the planet and helping us to perpetuate out a higher potential future for the earth. And that is my intention. And if I've, I've made a decision, if I'm sticking around, I want to stick around to help to perpetuate that energy. And I want to draw to me people that want that type of life as well, that are willing to, to just use their creative energy to put out, uh, like, I know at the beginning, I know at the beginning, it can be so difficult when you start hearing some of the things that are happening in the world that you might not have necessarily understood before all the lower vibrational stuff. But the only reason why you're seeing it is it needs to come up to the surface for us to clear it. But we don't necessarily have to buy into that. That's the only potential future that's available to us. And I can't stand back and watch people perpetuate that energy out there when I know on the highest level of truth, we are powerful spiritual beings that have come here on this earth at this time to find to come to terms with, to understand our creative power and, and put a desire out there for a much beautiful world than that we've ever experienced up till now. And each one of us, some of us in our individual realities get to experience that all the time. But others of us, you know, sometimes we get too wrapped up in the denser energies and it's easy to do. It's so easy to do because we're just constantly being bombarded with this information all the time. So that's why I really wanted to just have you, first of all, clear any of, you know, the denser energies that might be coming up to the surface as a result of the energies themselves or your soul pushing you to move a little bit further on your journey. But I also want to clear you enough to just pay attention to those intuitive nudges to reach out to some of the people in your reality that you might be taking for granted. That, that you would just feel 10 times more peace about if you let them know you love them while they're here instead of live with regret and said, I knew it, I knew it, and I should have done it, and I didn't listen. Because I'm telling you right now, it feels 10 times better to just know and follow it and do it. What do you have to lose but just let somebody know you love them anyhow? We, we have technology nowadays. It doesn't necessarily have to be this long, crazy message. So 
Just close your eyes and my intention, I'm going to send thousands of angels to illuminate your past and thousands of angels to illuminate your future, lighting the way, trusting that each step will be lit, lit along the way. I'm going to ask your spirit to, you know, to just give you the energy you require at this time. When you're breathing in, you're going to be breathing in unconditional love and your natural essence, the essence that you in particular came to earth to be. And when you're exhaling, you're going to be letting go of that which no longer serves you. So I just want you to breathe for me. I just need you to be willing to let go of any thoughts, feelings, beliefs, patterns, energy, experiences, anyone else's beliefs, patterns, energy, experiences, and programs. Just let them go. Just let them go. And just setting our intention that that, uh, that unconditional love and your natural essence will be put in the place of anything you let go of and just breathing. So now I want you to just focus on your heart chakra right now and just think of some of the things that you have in your life that are going well for you. That you have a roof over your head, that you have you know, food in your belly, that you have food in your fridge. There are people out there that don't even necessarily have those things. And as you think about those things, you're gonna get much more clarity. Did you know our natural state was peace? I know when I first heard that years ago, I was like, really? <laughs> Our natural state is supposed to be peace. So let's find your natural state and ask if there's anyone in particular that would benefit by you letting them know you love them. Is there anyone? We're going to ask that your guides speak loudly and clearly <coughs> to give you that message here today. And you can send them love right now and just put it out there thinking ahead of time that you're going to get clearly when is the best time to reach out to them to just let them know that you love them and that they're important to you. And I'm doing this right now to let each and every one of you know that we, we are constantly being sent love like this all the time from the passed on loved ones that are in the heavenly realms. <laughs> Excuse me. My throat chakra is going a little crazy. So listen, I don't want to make this too long. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me. Lots of love to you. And allow yourself to move into the higher potential future that's available to you. And let's put a desire out there for the kind of world we would prefer to see. Instead of the one that people are projecting out there. Because I, I'm not willing to stand by and say that's acceptable behavior. So my name is Rose Ann Kulik, www.theperfectrose.ca. Lots of love.